Hey everybody, Tony Mejia here. Welcome into the Wager Talk YouTube channel. We're going to be talking about June's first prolific sporting event. And uh, it's not the Champions League final, although that comes later in the day. We're going to be talking about the WNBA's matchup between the Chicago Sky and the Indiana Fever. Yes, neither team is among the upper echelon in the WNBA, but they do have two of the top rookies as Caitlin Clark leads the Indiana Fever, hopefully for her, into win number two against her arch nemesis in college, a former LSU star, Angel Reese, now playing for the 3-3 three and three Chicago Sky, and will also probably get the first appearance of her WNBA career of rookie number three pick Camilla Cardozo. Camilla Laquilla has been out for the beginning of her career due to an injury, but she's good to go. She's been cleared to play, and uh, she'll probably be on a minutes restriction, but uh, is anticipated to make an impact in her first appearance. And yeah, let's let's talk about the, uh, the game itself. The Sky is a road favorite here of three and a half points on, on the first uh, DraftKings number, and under 164 and a half is our official uh, free pick for this contest, but let's go into the particulars. In terms of Rookie of the Year, Caitlin Clark is still at minus 650 at FanDuel. The field is plus 420. You can get Clark at minus 650 to win Rookie of the Year. And based on what she's done so far, um, the turnovers have been an issue, but she has been the most impact rookie thus far, although Cameron Brink of the LA Sparks uh, is at plus 700 and has been a standout defender leading the WNBA in blocks. And uh, she has won a game off of Caitlin Clark just earlier this week uh, to even that ledger at one and one as Indiana's lone victory this season came out in L.A. in a game that uh, is the most attended game in Sparks history and felt like a fever home game at times. Uh, Indiana won that contest. L.A. returned serve and won uh, at uh, Gainbridge Fieldhouse to hand uh, Clark and the fever yet another defeat. There are one and eight. It really been a disappointing season. They lost at Seattle 103 to 88 on Thursday night, setting new highs in both points scored and points allowed. Clark had 20 points and nine assists on six of 17 shooting. She had seven turnovers. Those have been an issue. Uh, I've noticed that she over penetrates, so she's got to really clean that up. Um, yeah, it'll all come with experience. Aliyah Boston's taking a step back from her rookie season where she was rookie of the year and was tremendous. She had 11, 12, and 5, but a really slow start there against Seattle. Uh, but Clark had a 30-point game against the Sparks. We'll see what happens in terms of how uh, armed the Indiana Fever is for this game because Tebby Fagan-Bele, uh, who is the uh, top center on the team, is out due to a foot injury or has been. We'll see if she's cleared in time to play for this one. Erica Wheeler missed the other night due to personal reasons. So keep an eye out on that. If Specifically, if you want to bet Indiana plus the points at home as a home dog, um, Chicago beat LA 83 to 73, holding them to 16 points or fewer in three of the four quarters. That's another reason why we like the under here. A lot of unders in uh, WNBA games to start the season, although the last three Indiana Fever games have all gone over. Uh, for Chicago, Elizabeth Williams has been excellent. She had 17 points, 11 rebounds, four steals, and four blocks against the Sparks, uh, really keying that effort against uh, Deanna Humphrey and, uh, and uh, Cam Brink. Uh, Angel Reese had six and six and fouled out. Marina Mabry, 27 and seven. She'll be uh, matched up against Clark, but who uh, Caitlin Clark will really have to watch out for is Diamond DeShields, one of the top defenders in the WNBA. You might remember her uh, father, Delino DeShields, had a long major league career. Her his her brother, uh, Delino DeShields Jr., was in the majors with a couple of teams. So it'll be interesting to see how Clark fares with another top defender who will be out to pester her. I know there's been some talk about Caitlin Clark really uh, having trouble with physical defense and how the uh, referee should bail her out with the uh, calls, uh, you know, giving her the star treatment. I don't think she's earned that yet personally. I think uh, the WNBA officiating needs to be a little tighter on uh, what they call technicals on because she drew a, an unnecessary one earlier this week. So uh, we'll see how she's officiated in this matchup, but certainly uh, Diamond Shields will make her life difficult. And for that reason, I like the uh, Chicago Sky in this game as a road favorite of three and a half points. And I also like the under on this number at 
164 and a half. Again, we'll see Camila Cardozo for the first time. She is plus 15,000 at FanDuel to win Rookie of the Year. And it, the, the season is just a couple of weeks uh, along. So if she sets the league on fire, that might not be a bad bet. Caitlin Clark, like I said, minus 650 still the favorite. And you can have a bet of Clark at minus 650 against the field at plus 420 if you so desire. So once again, expecting a fun one at noon. Um, a really fun game here, fun matchup in terms of two uh, you know, household names now in women's basketball with Caitlin Clark playing against Angel Reese for the first time as pros. Indiana, Chicago, we're riding Chicago and the under. Like and subscribe here at uh, Wager Talk TV for all our content, and you will be able to get it and be notified when we release free pick videos uh, so you can digest and invest on that information. Uh, I'm Tony Mejia. You can follow me on Twitter at that address below. You can follow me uh, on my page for free picks at sm.buzz slash TDM. And uh, once again, please like and subscribe so we can continue offering you great content. Have a wonderful weekend and a profitable June. I'll see you next time.